What's going on, Ophucus? Welcome to Ophucus and Me. I appreciate you guys for stopping by here today on this wonderful Monday. It's the 29th of May, 2023, and it's 5.30 p.m. where I am currently. Thank you guys so much for all your support and um, helping me in this channel grow. Appreciate every single last one of you, old and new. Love you guys. Thank you guys. And let's get started. Also, if you've never been here before, I do Oracle Index and Three Decks of Tarot, okay? So, let's get started. Let's use the Higher Self Oracle and get a message at the bottom that says Gratitude. We must be grateful for each day, and that makes being grateful for everything else a little bit easier. We could just start off with just the simple things, you know. All right, so hope you guys have a good day today. I just got off of work, you know, trying to hurry up and get you guys' reading out for the day. Before I get wrapped up doing anything else, okay, let me go do the Ophucus reading. One more time. All right. I have two, and I'm going to keep it. Maybe someone needs to ask for guidance from God and the angels above. Interesting. We've had this card before, this worthiness. And then we have anger. Okay. So, like I said, sometimes, yeah, we're human. We get upset about things. But if we could just breathe a little bit, you know, and be grateful just for the little things, you know, like no, no one is promised today, you know, and if we start off with just that, like I woke up, thank God, have another opportunity to be me, to live, to be grateful, to help, to assist, whatever, whatever, however, I don't know, but let's see what both of these mean, okay? And holding on to anger, guys, only makes you sick on the inside, you know? Like, seriously, there's no need. And, you know, it's like sometimes I, I, I hear how I speak, like, you know, like, I don't get angry. But I, I do, but I always try to catch myself before I blow up because, you know, fire signs, you know, we have the tendency of, going zero to a thousand like really quick you know like don't turn that flame on because there's no turning it off especially if it's something that drives you to just pure madness you know i could beat that person and you turn to a whole nother beast you know like you know, you're raging <sighs> try to catch it before you can stab back you know but i mean i i get it there are things that really take you there but um try your best not to let it take you there that's all energy too guys so it says here holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die that's a saying i guess by buddha okay anger is defined as strong displeasure fury and deep hostility towards someone or something. Right now, someone may have betrayed you in some way or broken your trust, crossed a boundary, or mistreated you. You may be overwhelmed by an intense anger that is beginning to consume you. At this stage, you may be responding in a way that will not only hurt someone else, but hurt you. While your anger may be completely justified, it must be processed in a responsible way. If you feel the need to lash out towards someone or respond harmfully, then it's time to pause and take a breath. That's what I just said. I've never had this card, but literally, I, you guys 
just it, it could spiral so bad, you know, in the wrong way. You just don't want this, the consequences that could possibly come with that. Um, it's not worth it. <laughs> okay. Um, at this moment, it is necessary to expel that pent up intense energy from the body. To do so, you can scream in your car, outside, or into a pillow or release that energy in a way that is harmless. Consider some form of sport that will enable you to release that energy, such as hitting balls in a batting cage, playing golf, or playing tennis. This release is important because allowing anger to remain inside of you will have physical ramifications. When anger is stored in the body for too long, your muscles become tense. Your respiration and blood pressure rise. Your heart races and your immune system is impaired. Over time, it is your physical heart that suffers from your own anger. Anger is a constructive form of energy and a natural response to systems of inequality and oppression. When channeled appropriately, it can become dynamic energy that leads to righting wrongs, correcting injustices, and creating new solution-based ideas. If you need help, ask your higher self to help you channel your anger productively. Like at the bottom of the card, it said, ask for guidance, right? And sometimes you need to pray for that extra strength. Ask for guidance on how to, you know, come up with a different solution. What to do beyond, you know, raging this way or that way. So it says here, if you are still holding on to that anger, ask your higher self to shift your perception about the person or situation. Your higher self, excuse me, can help you understand the lesson and value of the experience and can lead you to forgiveness and healing. Yeah, and it's so funny because the next card is right here. Ask for guidance. Okay. Ask for help, not because you are weak, but because you want to remain strong. That's beautiful. So now let me go to this here worthiness card because you are worthy to be great, to be strong, to have another way of being instead of just this angry person at this time. So. Excuse me, guys. It says self worth is an understanding on an intellectual level, trusting at the heart level, and accepting at the soul level that you are worthy just because you believe that you are. Your worthiness is proven by your existence, your breathing, the beating of your heart. Your mere presence is all that is needed to establish your worth. A saying said by Iyanya Van Zant. So it says, the presence of this card signals that deep-seated negative beliefs or self-worth have surfaced. In the modern world, our value is accessed by our appearance, career, social circle, and achievements. When we compare ourselves with others, sudden supposed inadequacies tend to take root in the mind. We create a we create and accept false beliefs about ourselves, which grow and expand in our in our consciousness. Excuse me, and conclude that we are not good enough or deserving. However, your spirit knows that your true worth supersedes the value judgment of the world. This card is a reminder that you are inherently worthy and your value has already been pre-established by the divine. At times, we allow our previous mistakes to define us and prevent us from feeling that we are good enough. Have some compassion for yourself and abstain from tormenting yourself with harmful thoughts. Forgive yourself for your past mistakes and let them go. Substitute the voice of your inner critic, your inner critic, with that of an inner cheerleader, you don't have to focus your energy on proving your 
worth to the people of the world. You only need to be yourself and love yourself for who and what you are. Remember that you were created out of love and are a being of love. So yes, you're you're a being that is worthy of love. You are love. You're from love. Whatever it was that went on in your life that caused you to be upset, there is no need to harp on it and stay in that energy and be mad at yourself about it or something like that. It is okay. Okay? It, there has to be um, a way that you can um, not necessarily get over because sometimes, you know, that's not the word that people want to hear. You know, like, I can just get over this, you know, uh, so I don't want to use that uh, phrase. But there has to be an alternative way of um, looking at your situation, okay? There has to be, you know, and if you feel that there isn't and, you know, you just jacked up and you're mad at yourself for doing this or mad at just someone and you can't get over it, well... I, I, I really want you to try to meditate on something better. You're worth that, getting out of that anger energy, okay? You owe that to yourself. If it's something you're mad at yourself about, it's time to start over. You, you're not your mistakes. We all have them. We all make them. One more time. You are a burger person, okay? Whoever I'm talking to, both burger places came up. That would be funny if all three of them came up. One more time. It's okay to not be okay, Ophiuchus. Maybe you're a DJ or a party starter. And the last little one here. One more. Maybe your home health aid. We're from El Paso, Texas. Texas in the house. <laughs> Maybe you like to listen to DJ Screw. Another the first time I heard that underground music like, way back in the 90s. I was like, who is this? Well, I have a lot of family members from Texas. And he, he used to send each other CDs, you know, because the music was, wasn't popular all around like how it is now. So, or mixtapes, you know, I'll mix a tape from my radio station and then he'd do me one from his radio station or the latest mixtape for CD. <laughs> oh my goodness. One more time. And I'm like, what style of rap is this? <laughs> Maybe you're missing a loved one or a couple of loved ones. I don't even know if I shuffle them, but that's okay. One more. Yeah, we all must evolve. Growth is evolving. Okay. One more. Someone's name starts with the letter Q. And the last pile over here, let me 
Oh, all three did come out. Well, all right. You're a burger and fry type of guy or gal. All right. <laughs> Hold on, guys. This is the last little stack. Appreciate you guys for being so patient with me today or any day that you come through. One more time. Watch your surroundings. Okay. Especially if you're you've gotten into it with somebody really bad or something like that. They could be just as mad as you or you're out there, you know, turned up really upset and, you know, did something or said something to them and, you know, got them all on hinge. So, just be careful. One more. Maybe you drive an electric car. One more. Maybe you like to sew. I'm telling you, you got this on table thing machine right behind me. It is not easy. <laughs> anyway, say so for some it is. It's just not my thing. You can count on them. All your troubles are behind you. Maybe you drive a Mustang. You're a very well known and popular individual. Something was lost, but now it's found, or something is in the lost and found. Maybe you want to go check. Um, ain't no need to worry. Uh, what tomorrow's gonna bring, it'll be all over in the morning. That's the ones. Uh, can't redo what's been done. You're going back to school. Congratulations. They smell so good. You own birds. Everything will be fine. In and out burgers. All right. So random. Five guys. Burger and burgers and more burgers. You're just dating. Cruise. You have a great inheritance. God sent you an angel. You're a boss. Maybe even a flight attendant. They want you. Truth stands always. Maybe your cashier. Maybe your cashier one of these burger joints. Everything is energy. Isolation may be needed to get your mind right, to reprocess some things, and maybe you're giving someone the silent treatment. Jackpot. Mm -hmm, good money. You hit bingo the other night. I don't know. <laughs> Let me take this down a little bit. Okay. Be patient. They will reach out soon. Excuse me. Walk it like you talk it. Um, from North America. Results are coming in fast. You're very talented. Someone loves to cook. You're a party goer. DJ. Uh, what did I say? DJ party starter. So maybe that's what you're doing. You're DJing or something like that. Getting a party started. Maybe you're an inventor. It says creative. Oh no, it says talented. Yeah. You're a DJ. Who maybe invented some sort of cool 
I don't know, something. But inventor. <laughs> like an actual gadget. But however it is. Um, it's never too late to begin anew. Science is your favorite subject. Turn down for what? <laughs> don't fall asleep. You have ancient DNA. I mean, most of us do. But... <laughs> But however, um, tie it over and still, oh my bad, try it over and still no change. Self-discipline is required. Maybe you're from Malaysia or would like to visit Malaysia. Maybe you're from the islands, or this is the third burger place. Maybe you like to eat at the restaurant's islands, or you want to go to an island, right? One door is about to close for others to open. So, enjoy the moment. Reoccurring situations. Hmm. Reoccurring situations. Interesting. Maybe you could be from Kansas or Aruba. So... When I spoke about doors closing and opening, maybe you're upset about something that keeps happening. And, um, you know, like maybe, um, like jobs or something. I don't know, that's the first thing. Like, what could be reoccurring? You know, there could be a lot of different things that keep happening. You know, maybe, like, you're, you're off day, you know, you keep getting woken up early or something or. I don't know. It, it may stick out to somebody different, but I don't know why I wrote it. You know, but like a reoccurring like type situation, like you know, like you got uh, laid off from a job and then you start another job and then it's like oh, it was just a temporary job, you know, or something. So it's just like dang, you can't get out of like this loop or something like that. Um, Or every time you go to a party, uh, it, it ends early, or I don't know. Are you cooking something and you cook it too long? <laughs> uh, but however the case, let's get started. So, yeah, it's never too late to begin a new, okay? Uh, isolation may be needed, all right? It'll be over in the morning. Ain't no need to worry, okay, by the white ants. All troubles are behind you. You're well-known and popular. Everything will be fine. Maybe you like In-N-Out burgers or islands or Five Guys. Or maybe you work there. Maybe you're a cashier at one of those places. Okay, they smell so good. You can count on them. Maybe you drive a Mustang. You have a great inheritance. Jackpot. Reoccurring situations. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe you're from North America, Aruba, Kansas, or Malaysia. You're very talented. You're a party goer. Someone loves to cook. And uh, don't fall asleep. Turn down for what? Science is your favorite subject. So random. You're just dating someone. Maybe you want to go on a cruise. Maybe you're a flight attendant. God sent you an angel. Walk it like you talk it. Be patient. They will reach out soon. You try it over and still no change. Self-discipline is required. Enjoy the moment. The door is about to close for another. They're open. Results are coming in fast. You're a boss. Maybe you own the birds. They want you. You're a party goer and an inventor. Energy is everything. You can't redo what's been done. You're going back to school too, possibly, and maybe something is in the lost and found section, and truth stands always. Alright, here we go. One more time. Oh, this one flew out. We'll probably get started. Let me do that one. Actually, one more time. My bad. And that just didn't even mesh at all. Alright, there we go. Here we go. 
Page of Wands. Just sitting there figuring out what move you want to make. How do I move? Looks like he's already in isolation. Just sitting there by himself in a tree. You know, trying to gather his thoughts. Trying to figure out what way do I move? What do I do? Maybe you're, like I said, something's going on maybe with your work and it's upsetting you. You know, but know that you are worth more than what these jobs are giving you or something like that, okay? Or maybe even you are this inventor and you're trying to get your your patent out or your product out or something like that. Maybe you like, you know, what's that name of that show? Um, the Sharks? Shark Tank? You know, or something like that. And you're like spending all your money trying to get this invention out, you know? But don't give up on yourself. You're more than worthy, okay? And don't let others, like I said, bring you down to that low energy, you know, or you're just upset because nobody's seeing your greatness or understanding the value of what it is that you have, okay? Yeah, well, here you have a page of pentacles and that talks about investments. So, it says results are coming in fast. They want you. Somebody probably going to finally, after all your hard work, someone's going to actually come in, see you. So, I want you to enjoy that moment and not uh, put all that energy in that reoccurring energy that had been happening to make you upset or something like that, okay? You stay very persistent and true to who you are, okay? And that's that's the way to do it. You didn't get defeated, but you did get upset. Okay, you didn't you you very persistent, but upset about it at the same time. But you understand that you're vibrant. You understand that God made you with love. And this happy energy that the sun card uh, bestows and holds here, it's just, it's everything. It is energy, and you are energy, and you know that, and you, you're trying your best to focus. Here, it's a two of cups, like I said, I don't, I'm not picking up on love, so, you're just not. You're not investing in, in any love scenario, right? Yes. Yeah. And nothing is moving there. It's, that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> we're not talking about love today. No, you made an investment. No, it's not in love. And I have three cards that fell out. And I only need two. And I'm not in reverse, okay? So, the four of wands and the five of wands. Underneath the nine of wands. It's interesting how five and four equals nine. So, maybe possibly... Take this back a little bit and push this down just a little bit more. Like I said, five and four equals nine. So, no, we're not talking about love. And no, we're not talking about people trying to... Um, compete with you and so on and so forth, argue you down. Um, so it's just like there wasn't any sort of like great celebration, and maybe you you're not feeling the energy of competition because people just keep knocking you down. Um, with with your idea it's not like you're even out there yet so you don't even have the 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 feel of it to know what competition is about because your product or something isn't even out there yet okay so 
That's crazy. So here it's just like you don't have a clue about how the outcome will be. You just keep trying. And yes, you're a loving person, you love hard, you all of that, but you're you're not in a relationship and we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about how these um, investors are not taking your invention. Uh, they're not considering it. They're not even like looking at it or something is going on. But don't give up. Don't fret. You have to let that energy wane off and you have to understand that you know what you're doing and don't give up on yourself and you know it's like it's it's like god's testing you you know like do you believe in yourself we'll keep trying you know do you okay do you have do you have money to still invest in keep investing you know um don't break yourself don't you know not eat you know stuff like that but if you, you keep trying don't 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 stop okay yeah, don't don't stop. It looks like you almost want to stop working on this project. Okay. Maybe maybe what it's saying is like you're persistent. You're going to continue to um, move forward, but maybe in terms of excuse me, maybe in terms of like tweaking the idea or something like that, you like, you don't need to, you don't need to do that anymore, you know, like, like, you know, every time you got knocked down, you're like, hey, maybe I, I could tweak it or, you know, try to do it this, you know, like improve it here or improve it there, like, maybe you, you stopped that. And just maybe, like I said, went within for a second to kind of reflect because you know that your invention is worth the success that you are feeling. You feel it already. And you're just really upset. I think that's what's making you upset. Like, you, you know how great this is. And no one is acknowledging the greatness of this here invention it says science is your favorite subject you know so and jackpot maybe that's they know how great your invention is they know that you will become like the world's richest person you know but yeah like with the moon like they're hiding that from you or something like that and you're like what is going on why is no one you know they're all hating on you you know so here with the six of cups, maybe you're, you know, you spend a lot of time um, conversing with, like, people you grew up with that can kind of relate to you or, you know, people that know you very well, you know, or people that, you know, that are, you know, that are just like you, that know that this is great and they're like trying to maybe motivate you or something like that or keep you motivated okay so guys i appreciate you for being here with me today this is the second deck here we go one more time and it says they want you someone wants to work with you With the five of earth is the five of pentacles. It says insecurity. So you're feeling left out. Like nobody is giving you the time of day. And they're making your life a little bit hectic here. Where's my book? I even know I think this is like the hangman. I don't know. Yeah, it is the hangman. Okay, it's my little cheat book. So here at the hang the man. 
reflection. You have you had to go within to really figure out why or why are they why are all these investors being like this when you know that it's awesome and then it you know like going within and reflecting and asking God to help you stay calm and cool because now the five of wands is coming out it's like causing you to stress you know like all of it's competition, but it's not competition just yet. You know, it's just like I said, haters. They're like bringing you down. You know. Yeah, but here are six of wands again. Like, so because they know that you'll be successful, whatever it is that you got going on, oh, you get. Sheesh, man. You are lit. I understand why you would be upset. For real. Like I said, this ain't got nothing to do with love. It came out in reverse. This is not about love right now. This is about your invention. Or whatever it is you got going on. You're not thinking about love. <laughs> that is your love. You know, what you have going on. And the two of ones. And your future of it, you know. And how it... Is going to um, advance and where it's going. I was going to get there. Like, what is going on here? Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, let me get the last card out. Hey, now, looking at your future because this is what you want the Father of Earth, the Pentacle, what you had in reverse. So you're knowing that you're going to, you got a whole pot of gold, okay? Like, it may be corn, but still, you know, like, he's rich, he's wealthy, you feel me? Like, oh my. So yeah, with this two of pentacles, you are you are looking at your life, your future, looking at where you've been, where you came from, where you're at, where you're trying to go. Oh my goodness. You are very uh, worthy of greatness. All right, this is the last deck of Fucus. I appreciate you guys for being here with me. Come back and rock with me anytime where I do your daily readings here. And um, yeah, I just appreciate all the love and the support that you guys show me. If you're still here with me, Mwah. thank you so very much. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, please, and thank you. And, of course, only if you like. I appreciate it all, and I appreciate you. Thank you so very much. Let's see what this last deck says and wrap up the read for today. One more time. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Let this clump fell out. So, yeah. Things are about to st start turning. Be ready. So, I'm going to just say that you haven't had that bright, passionate beginning yet. It hasn't, yeah, it's not here yet, you know, but you surely would like to hold that torch. So finally, it's here. Let's get it moving and let's continue with greatness.
Page of Swords. So, you know, I guess this is like when you're stating your case. Like, you know, I would like for you to um, invest in me. You know, maybe write letters or make phone calls. I don't know if you present your invention or what it is and how you do it. But I, I imagine that's what that's for. And uh, you want to get this thing moving. You want... Now it's coming out. You want to get this thing moving. That would make you so happy if, you know, somebody would just consider it, even. the eight of swords in reverse <clears throat> it's like you're not going to allow this to stress you out though you know you're not sitting up constantly thinking why aren't they doing this market it's just ticking you off so maybe like i say you need to create some new boundaries in terms of you know how you allow this to affect you like right? you just set a boundary for yourself like okay i'm not going to get upset you know i'm not going to you know um, I don't know which way you get upset, you know, but, you know, <laughs> like, I'm just not going to let this work me. Excuse me. Oh, my gosh. Five of Wands. Yeah, because there's just a, a bunch of people out there that want to bring you down. And you, you have to remember that, you know, this world is not all bubble gum and lollipops you know as much as we want it to be as much energy as we put out there we we do have expectations to receive that back but at the same time we're going to always be put up up against challenges you know so just kind of know that live in your everyday life if you guess you know and just live it like it's a freaking video game you know like okay what's next you know be real strategic okay you don't want me that's fine i got something better or someone better that's lined up for me you missed out you know look at it that way they missed out and keep that positive vibe knowing that you're you are very worthy of everything that you see yourself having okay just be patient if you just love you guys see you next time take care and have a good one bye-bye